Open Heaven Over Witchcraft Manipulation. Today, we're going to be looking at what is witchcraft manipulation. Witchcraft manipulation is when the enemy uses spells, incantation, hexes, vexes, and demonic prophecy over, over your life. And they can operate from an evil altar. We're now going to be talking about what the altar does. It says here, the enemy can deposit many things into your life from the evil altar. They can put names, they can put your name on the altar, they can put your picture, they can take um, anything that belongs to you and they can put it on an altar, a shrine, you know, a coven. You know, when the witches and the wizards get together, they can take um, anything because that is going to be your picture has your image. Your um, your name is who you are. And I remember one time someone said to me, they went out such a place and they saw my name. They actually said they saw my picture. And I'm like, what? Because that's what the enemy will do. They will, re they will put your name on the altar. And then when, when and they do the sacrifice, they do the animal sacrifice. What, it, it depends on what animal they use. They can use a chicken. You know, they can even uh, do human sacrifice. So the enemy will put your name on an altar. And when the name is put on an altar, it is... Um, then a, a demon is released. So they put the name on the, um, on your, they put your name on the altar and they say, okay, as long as I'm just going to use an example. I like the name Mary. As long as Mary live, she will never be married. That's an evil, um, that's a demonic prophecy. So now that now the demon now is released from the altar and it's, it's going to make sure as long as Mary live mary will not get married so now mary mary as long as mary live if mary might be so beautiful have a good heart mary might even be a christian but the 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 altar was set up so the demon comes now and the demon will make sure that mary's never married now Mary goes to church and they don't see, you know, they're going to pray for all sorts of things. They might even say, Mary, you have a problem, but it was, it's not Mary. It's the altar. The altar is speaking against Mary's life. And if not challenged, if not dismantled, then Mary will live her life and never be married. And I'm going to use an example now of a man. I'm going to say John. John, from a young age, someone went and put John's name on the evil altar. And what they said about John, they say, as long as John lived, John can only hold a job. And they're going to be specific now with John. John can only hold a job for a year. Now, John grew up. He got himself. And every time, it's coming up to a year now. Because that's what... Uh, they um, pronounced on the evil altar. John can only hold a job for a year. So now John grows up. And every time he's getting to that year mark. John gets fired. He gets sick. Something goes wrong. And he has to leave the job. Now first of all. John looked at it and he said. Okay maybe it was a coincidence. But then John is now say. John got his first job at 18, 17, 18. Now, John is saying something not right here. John, too, is a Christian. John goes to church. If not challenge, if somebody doesn't come and see, okay, there's an evil altar that has been raised against John. And someone doesn't challenge that evil altar and, and deal with the spirits because when the evil altar is raised, there's a specific demon that is sent out against you. The, well, the specific demon that was sent out against Mary was for Mary not to be married. Now, Mary will live her whole life and she will never get married because the altar releases the demons. Now, John, I was talking about John now. Now, the evil altar, the demonic prophecy said that John, 
can only hold a job for one year. So as I was saying before now, when John is getting to almost a year, he loses his job. And if and John too, like Mary, Christian, been in church all their life, if someone doesn't recognize what is going on and challenge the evil altars, challenge the um challenge the the demon behind the evil altar, John will live his life and all of, all the time and John might even say something is wrong. No, because most of the times when these things happen, you're gonna think um, something is wrong with me. Mary's going to think something is wrong with me. Why, why can't I find a man to marry me? You know, she's going to blame herself, but she doesn't know that it's, it's an evil altar that is controlling her life. And this happens time and time again. You have evil altar. You have a business. Someone went and they set up an evil altar. I know in my own life, personally, I have my baking business. I, I first year, 10 customer. Next year, nine customer. Next year, two customer. Till it was, it, it went dead. Not only did it um go dead, the business went dead. I find eggshells, and I live by myself with my kids. I find eggshells. I find um um spiders. There's cobweb in my stuff, and I use the I use these things because even though the business is not doing nothing, I still have to practice. You have to use it before you lose it. So I still have to I still have to practice my gift before you know when God restores it. I don't know how to do nothing no more because I I have not been practicing. So the enemy, and I'm speaking as some personal experience the enemy can use witchcraft to manipulate and control your destiny so they divert you so you're supposed to be going on path a because of witchcraft manipulation because the enemy through evil altars manipulated your life and your destiny through witchcraft instead of you going the path of a you go the path of b and I'm going to give you another example. When I was 11 years old, as I said, I did not grow up in America. I was writing CXC. I went to write the exam and I kid you not, I, um, I didn't, it was in English and I, I'm very good with English with writing. I didn't remember nothing. But at 11 years old, I started to pray. I started to pray. No, it wasn't English. I remember it was math. Now, I'm not good in math, to be honestly speaking, but I studied for my um, um, CXC exam. And when I went to write the test, I couldn't remember nothing. I sat there. I, I can't remember how long it was because it was at 11. Like, let's say the test was an hour long. I sat there and I'm holding my pencil. I can't remember anything. So what I did, I started to pray. Now, I, I didn't know this was witchcraft. I did not know this was demonic manipulation. And as I started to pray, I said, God, help me. And as I started to pray, it came back. Let me tell you somebody. That was the, um, I did good in that math test, but I only, I, because when I started to pray, I had like 20 minutes. So there wasn't much I could have done, but in the 20 minutes, and I am not good at math, even up to now. I am not, and I did, I did good there. But be, because, for the most part of the test, I couldn't, I couldn't remember. I never said anything to my mother. That changed the, um, that changed my life because the school that I got was a, um, well at that time it was, it was community, it was secondary, and it was high school. I got a secondary school, but if I had. If there was not demonic uh, manipulation involved, I could have gotten a high school. And it was at the secondary school I met my husband when I was almost at the end of um, leaving the secondary school. So that was the enemy manipulating my destiny through witchcraft. Me at that time at 11 don't know anything about witchcraft. Didn't know that that was the enemy. Because how could you study for a test and you go in the test and you just get go blank? That is not that is not natural. And I was speaking to someone one day and I was sharing the story. They said the same thing happened to them. They went to write the test and they remembered nothing. So they wrote nothing on the paper. 
And it happened to me too. And so many people, this thing happens to, that is witchcraft. The enemy uses witchcraft. So, so you're going to go write a test to become a lawyer, become a doctor. And you go and you write and you can't remember. And that changes the outcome of your life. Because instead of you now being a doctor, because you can't pass that test and you need that test to pass that test it could even be not only for you become a lawyer could become a doctor but it's something for elevation and you need to pass the test you can't pass that test that is the enemy it doesn't matter how hard you try you go to write the test and as soon as you pick up that pencil that pen you forget that is not of god that is demonic manipulation through witchcraft that's the enemy demonically um, using witchcraft so you cannot remember to alter your destiny, to alter your, not to alter your destiny, to alter your future through witchcraft because there's altars. Now this cannot happen without the help of people. This cannot happen. The enemy just can't come down and say, oh, I'm going to, no, he needs the help of somebody. So he enlists people. He enlists, most of the time he enlists your own family member, your best friend, your closest friend, people that you are close to. That's why the Bible says, the Bible says that a man's own enemy is of his own household. So as I said before, in my own life, as because I didn't remember that changed the outcome of that I got um well I did I did okay but it wasn't I didn't do my best because at that time I didn't know that was witchcraft and there's a lot of things that happen too that the enemy you and you look at it and it's natural but it's not natural it's supernatural it's the enemy using witchcraft to manipulate your life to manipulate your destiny to throw you on the wrong path and when you're on the wrong path everything is wrong you meet the wrong people everything is wrong because you're not on the path that God has designed for you to be on God has said you should go a and through witchcraft, through witchcraft manipulation, however the enemy seems um, to use, he puts you on path B. So now you're living your life and you're on path B. Now remember, God has designed for you to go on path A. And you're not on path A because of true witchcraft. You're on path B. So what happens? Your life becomes a struggle. Everything you do becomes a struggle. A struggle. Everything you do and doesn't work. And because you look at it from a natural perspective, you ain't saying, okay, someone altered my life through a witchcraft. You're going to blame yourself. And you say, why, why is my life so hard? Your life is hard because the altars are speaking against you. They can put an altar up for you to not to get married. That altar is going to speak to you on less challenge. They can put an altar up for your business to fail. It's going to fail. Why? Because they're sin. When, um... Who was it in the Bible when Naaman, when Naaman, I think, stole the, um, stole the stuff. When they went to fight, to fight the people, what, what was supposed to be an easy victory, they became defeat. And when Joshua inquired of the Lord, Joshua, um, God said to Joshua, they're sin in the camp. And when they're sin in the camp, God God can do what he needs to do. So now when Joshua inquired and then they inquired of the Lord, they cast lot and then it fell to the house of Judah. And then they went down the line and they found that Naaman, Naaman took the, he stole gold, he stole clothing, he stole all those things and he put it in his tent. And because of him, because of one person, one person, so many people died. So they stole Naaman to death because there was sin and and, and God, because there was sin, they had to get rid of the sin. So when they stole Naaman and they got rid of Naaman, not only did Naaman die, I think his whole household died because of sin. When God told them not to um, take anything from the people because those people were idol worshippers. So regardless if you took any anything from them, Anything, anything you take from them is going to become a curse because they never serve God. And it is people, it happens like that. You know, people, they go, right? And they put your name on the evil altar and then they come and say, look, 
you, me at that time, 11 years old, you know, my mindset is not on witchcraft and stuff like that. I'm 11 years old. They come now from the evil altar and they say, look, give, give her this. And they give you something that you like. They give you food and you eat it. Not knowing that they don't pray witchcraft prayer over that food and you eat it. Now the thing goes in and then it operates from within. They give you something that you like, a pen, a pencil, something simple, you know, and, and you use it not knowing what they did to it, not knowing if they use witchcraft on it. And you take this thing and that, that will be, and that could be the altar now releasing the curses upon your life and you now not knowing, not thinking, oh, you know what, since, um, since so-and-so give me this thing, you know, you know, these things have been happening to me because they give you, you know, they give you stuff, um, satanic agents of Satan love to give you gifts. Oh, they love to, they love to buy you stuff and you now with your natural self, you know, you take it. But you don't see since you took that gift from that man, since you took that gift from that woman, all hell done break out in your life. And you're not seeing, oh, since I took that gift from from that man, and since I take that gift from that woman, uh, look what's happening in my life. All hell has been breaking out because they went and they did witchcraft and now they give you something and that will be um, their point of contact with you. They love to. Satanic agents love to give you gifts. They love to give you gifts. They love to give you clothes. They love, when I say they love, they love to give you gifts. And that's how the um the altar works. So now you 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 take that stuff, you're not knowing better. It can be anything. Anything can be an altar. Anything. Anything. You take it, they give you money. Look. Like I said um, before, the lady gave me $16, not knowing better, took the money. After I took the money, I realized no money was coming into my hands. When I took the money too, I kind of felt strange. I like brushed it off, just brushed it off now. But then I realized this woman um, cursed this money when she gave me the money and I had to pray. And it was a while before some money came into my hand. So when I was thinking it was a coincidence, it wasn't it wasn't a coincidence. It was the woman cursed the money and then give it to me. So I had to pray. I had to repent. And so many of you today, people have given you stuff. People have given you stuff that they use witchcraft prayers on and you take it. You're not knowing better. And then the um, altar now releases the demon and then the demon goes to work. It could be many people uh, lost their life because someone gave them something. And said to them, oh, look, this is something lucky. You keep it with you all the time. You're not knowing better now because they say it's going to give you luck. Oh, wear it with you all the time. And you don't know that thing has a demon. And that demon is a sign to destroy your life. The demon is design, designed to, um, it's like a, um, it's like a, the, a demon is like a, um, someone in the army. They are designed to do specific stuff. So whatever you can think about, there's a demon from A to Z. There's demons from A to Z. So their assignment is to whatever assignment they are on. What is to kill you? What is to steal from you? What is to divert your blessing, divert your business? And it operates from the evil altar. And sometimes they can, the person, like I said, a satanic agent love to give you gift. They, when I say they love it, they love it because that gift is a, is a point of contact. That gift can be an evil altar to ruin your destiny. So you're going to um, write a test and your best friend gives you a pen. And as soon as you touch the pen in the test, there goes everything. There, I remember once there was a, this um, boy, they said he was so smart. And one day he went to school now and one of his friends now gave him something to eat. And when they gave him something to eat, he just lost it. He went crazy. And I remember they brought him to, um, they brought him to the church that I used to go to and through prayer. Now they said it was given to him from school. Someone didn't like the fact that he was that smart. 
but that altered his destiny because I didn't even know how long it was a young boy. I don't even know how he was crazy. And true prayer and true a lot of prayer, God restored the little boy. But how many people out there, people don't give them stuff, give them food, give them clothing, give them shoes that is speaking against their destiny right now. I declare to you today, a lot of people's lives have been changed by uh, demonic manipulation. Um, the enemy using people to manipulate your life and to manipulate your destiny. So so they will divert you on the wrong path. So when you're on the wrong path, everything that is going to happen to you is going to be wrong because God has designed you to go on A and the enemy diverted you from A through witchcraft, through manipulation, through demonic prophecies. They have your name on. And I remember when the person said to me, I saw your name on an altar. No. And I'm like, why would my name be on an altar? Why would someone do that? And I just, you know, because sometimes people will tell you, you know, I saw your name. I went such and such a place and I saw your name. I saw your picture. Because they like to, if they like to have something that represents you in the spirit realm, your name, your picture. Uh, um, that's why you have to be careful who you get stuff to. Be careful who you get stuff. Oh, I just, I just want something to remind me of you. And then you give it to them. They take it and they, and they take it. They take your name. They take your picture. They take something that belongs to you. Sometimes something that have your sweat and they put it on that evil altar. And that is what the enemy uses as a point of contact to, to um, activate whatever they want to activate in your life. Maybe a spirit of poverty, a spirit of death, a spirit of sickness and infirmity, a spirit of you will not excel, whatever. Because the, the, the demons are from A to Z, honey. There's a whole variety of demons. There are demons we don't even know. There's demons. There's, there's, um... There's demons that we don't even um, know some of their names too. How there's so much demons, just like how there's angels. The Bible says, I think it was one third of the demons fell from heaven. So there's a demon for everything. So the enemy can send that demon and you're just wondering, why is my life so difficult? Because someone used witchcraft to manipulate your life and your destiny. And not only... And not only um, can someone use witchcraft, I'm going to share this story with you. Someone came into my life and they can use witchcraft prayer. And she was using the Bible. She said a pastor gave her a scripture and she was going to people and she was saying the prayer. Now, this is not even an altar. They're not, this person is not setting up an altar or nothing. This person was using prayer. So when she went in front of people... The, now, the pastor gave her the scriptures. The pastor gave her the scriptures. And she went in front of people. Everything that you have, you will give to her. Everything. Everything that you have. So, if she went in your presence and she said that prayer, and you had $100, you know, you will hear in your mind, like, oh, give, give her Give her that money. Now you're thinking it's a thought that you have. You're going to give her that money. Thinking that you did something good when it was witchcraft. Yes. Witchcraft using the Bible. That's what they use, honey. When they go, when you go to, um, to do, um, the witchcraft, they use the Bible, honey. They use them Psalms from one to, from one to 150. They use the Psalms, honey. To do so they throw you off God because you'll say, Oh, they they use the Bible, they don't use the Quran, they don't use all those other books, they use the B-I-B-L-E to release them curses into your life. So, what was I saying before? I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, the enemy uses witchcraft to manipulate your life and to manipulate your destiny, and they through witchcraft can change the course of your life. And you looking at it like, oh, why can't I get married? Why can't I hold a job? Because someone through witchcraft, through evil altars, don't change the course of your life. Okay, I remember what I was saying before. So now, she will go 
to people and she would say the prayer from the Bible. The pastor gave her the scriptures and she would fleece the people. They, they, they spend all, when I tell you, they spend all their money on her. So when she came back, she was using the prayer on me too. And I was like hearing thoughts like, give her, give her, give her, give her, give her. And then when she left, you know, God revealed, oh, she was using them prayers on you too. Yes, she was not using it because she told me she was not only using it on, she was not only using it on the people that she came. I cannot tell you how much money she got from people. Yes. That is witchcraft because she got it through dishonest means. She used demonic prayer on the people. I cannot tell you how many. Now she is a Christian. I cannot tell you how many people she fleeced, including myself. When I was next to her, I was hearing this thought. Give her, give her, give her, give her, give her. You know, I didn't, she was using this um, prayer on people. I didn't expect her to use it on me. But when she left, God re revealed to me that she used the prayer on me too. Mm-hmm. Yes, she did. That is also witchcraft. Because it's all, it's, it's, it's going against your will. So, so when you were in, when you were in her company, you was going to feel like, help her, help her, give, give, give. And you're thinking, now, oh, this is the will of God. For No, that's her using witchcraft prayer to control your life, to take everything you get. And that's how people can do. A man can put on a perfume, you smell the perfume, and you just grow wild and you sleep with him. I've heard people tell me stories of that. You don't know why you sleep with him. Because of the perfume he sprayed. When he sprayed that perfume, you could not resist him. And you don't sleep with him. And you scratching your head like, I have never done that in my life. Why would I sleep with him? I don't even like him. No, because of the perfume. He used the perfume. So when you smell the perfume, it altered your thinking through witchcraft. Through witchcraft. And you slept with him. Like I said the woman. She used the prayer from the Bible. And she, everyone she came in contact with. Gave her money. Who didn't have money. Well everybody has some money. She, she had so much money. She didn't know what to do. And like I said. She got the prayer from a pastor. We're going to pray right now. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you today and we want to thank you for life. We want to thank you for health. And we want to thank you, Lord God, for strength. We want to thank you, Lord God, today that we're in the land of the living. Do we not take our lives for granted today, Lord? Heavenly Father, God, we come before you, God, lifting up our prayer against every form of witchcraft manipulation, God. Every plan of witchcraft the enemy has used to divert our life, to divert our destiny, God, every witchcraft power assigned to uh, uh, manipulate my destiny, God, every witchcraft power assigned to change the course of my life, God, to throw me off of the will and the, the ways of God. We come against it right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I reject every Every, every evil altar speaking against my destiny through witchcraft. I reject it now in the name of Jesus. I reject every evil altar that is producing curses at me. That is sending curses. Curses of failure. Curses of poverty. Curses of thou shall not excel. Curses of premature death. Curses. God, we reject them right now in the name of Jesus. Every hidden witchcraft altar, we, we, we dismantle you right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar that is issuing curses against our life, we decree and we declare by the mercies of heaven. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper or succeed. And every tongue that is rising up against us in judgment, we condemn it in the name of Jesus. It is written, seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble me. I reject every evil attack from witchcraft altars right now in the name of Jesus. I reject Every evil witchcraft attack from evil altars right now in the name of Jesus. I reject every foundational problem that is working against my life. Every ancestral problem that is working against my life. Every curse of the mother's house that is working against my life. Every curse of the father's house that is working against my life. 
I reject it now, now, now. Every demonic prophecy, every demonic prophecy, I reject you now, 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 in Jesus' name. Lord God, we come against every form of witchcraft manipulation, God, in my life, God, that is coming from evil altar, that is coming from evil prayer, that is coming, <coughs> excuse me, from demonic prophecies, God. We decree and we declare it now and void every evil altar that has my picture that has my name on it we dismantle you now in the name of jesus every evil altar that has my picture on it that has not only my picture that has my name on it we destroy you now in the name of jesus every evil power that is a sign to Bewitch my glory die in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft remote control against my life. I, 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 I use the hammer of God and I break you up now in the name of Jesus. Every evil remote that is controlling my life. I use the hammer of God. Oh Lord God, as I'm speaking about the remote control, you know, the remote control has been, um, has been lost now, God, for like almost a week, God. We come against every form of witchcraft control, every form of witchcraft manipulation through the remote control, the enemy control in my life. I am not, I do not belong to Satan. I am a child of God. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Jesus Christ said it is written, I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. I come against every form of witchcraft manipulation through remote control. I come against them right now in Jesus' name. Every form of witchcraft that is affecting my destiny god i come against it now in the name of jesus every everywhere my name is being mentioned for untimely death we come against it right now in the name of jesus we scatter right now and we send the fire of god to every evil altar issuing curses that is affecting my life now now, now, we come against the curse of thou shalt not marry the right person. We come against it now, 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 in the name of Jesus. We come against the curse of poverty that thou shalt not excel. We come against you now, 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 in the name of Jesus. We come against the curse of premature death. Issued from the evil altar and we, we send the fire of God to consume. They said the fire of the Lord devour. Devour every evil altar that is issuing curses against my life. We come against the strong men because these are strong men, God. Oh, Lord God, we come against every strong man came, coming from evil altars, God. In the name of Jesus, we destroy every strong man behind every curse, God. Oh, Lord God, you said for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Lord God, we can't come against right now every spiritual wickedness in high places that's been issuing curses God we come against every curse in the first and second heaven that is coming against my life right now in the name of Jesus every form of financial embargo mortal embargo every form of embargo every form of injunction sanction that the enemy has placed upon my life we reject you now 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 in Jesus' name I reject every form of embargo every form of sanction that the enemy has placed upon my life I reject you now I reject you now I reject you now I reject you now in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and I decree by the decree of heaven that who the Son sets free is free indeed and I decree and I declare by the mercies of heaven that I am set free from every form of demonic control every form of witchcraft manipulation every form of manipulation Manipulating my destiny, every form of evil remote, using the remote control to control my life. Like if I'm a puppet, no, I am not a puppet. I am a child of God. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Luke 10 90 said, Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. I decree by the mercies of heaven. That I am free.
from demonic manipulation, demonic control. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God is still on the throne and all is well. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.